Hello everyone. Today in this video, we'll be solving. I uh, mean, uh, discussing the top uh, module four of uh, 21 CIE 14. And uh, in this module, we have uh, two main topics, which is beams and trusses. So we need to know what is the uh, how to apply. It means uh, mainly solve the numericals you know, under each of these topics. Okay. So uh, before starting, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay. So let's get started with the first one, which is beam. Beam is what? Beam is a, a structural member which is having longer length compared to its width and depth. Like this one. Okay, this is a beam. Okay, this is a beam. So uh, there are different types of beam. Simply supported beam. In this, uh, both the ends of the beam are simply supported. So if this is the beam here and this the length is L and supported by A force and for the uh, B uh, means force B here. Okay, that is a simple beam. In cantilever beam, it is free end here and it is uh, attached to a wall here. Okay, that is cantilever beam and overhanging beam here it is just a part of the beam is uh, supported and other part is hang, uh, hanging okay either uh, either of them it is free okay and uh, different types of loadings this also you need to know like uh, point load uniformly distributed uniformly varying load point load is just acting at a single point like w1 and w2 if this is the beam ab w1 and w2 are the point loads what about the uniformly distributed load uh, like uh, all of these places it uh, there's a uniform distribution like w by m okay per meter the w force is acting okay like uh, w is equal to 10 like 10 forces here in uh, equally distributed here here also 10 here also 10 and so on uniformly varying load is like it is decreasing in the uh, from the uh, high uh, high to low or from the increasing from low to high that is known as that uh, uniformly varying load okay so different types of supports simple support roller support hinge support fixed support and continuous support let's understand what is uh, the difference between each of these simple support a and b will be there and the force will be acting in the down, uh, downward direction a and b in the upward direction in the roller support there will be rollers here and the force is acting on the rollers is nothing but in the upward directions okay and uh, for the next one which is the hinge support in hinge support the um, forces which will be acting is in both the uh, vertical direction as well as in the horizontal direction okay means the forces are acting in this direction and in this direction as well denoted by h and v a for the uh, end a for the b it is h b by uh, means h b and v b okay so that is the difference between the hinge support and the roller support in fixed support there will be moments also so if this fixed here and this also fixed here the moment is considered in this direction m b and m a okay this is considered as positive this is considered as negative okay this is positive this is negative remember that okay and h and v a will be there as uh, the previous one um fixed support for the continuous support also it will be same thing but here the combination will be there so b is acting in the upward direction there are some point forces here one force acting in the upward direction and the length is also given and there are two more uh, roller supports here so that is the continuous supports they have three or more supports okay so these are different types of supports so uh, before starting with the numericals you need to know how to convert the uh, udl into point load udl is uniformly distributed load if this uh, load is given to you at what point how much force is acting that you have to convert into that before moving on with the numerical okay so uh, suppose that there is a uniformly distributed load with 10 newton per meter and the whole uh, size is 3 meter so what is the total force acting is 10 into 3 which is 30 newton where it will be acting it will be acting exactly at the middle of it which means 1.5 from the left 1.5 from the right 30 newton is acting at this point that's how you convert udl into point load converting uvl into point load is a bit uh, complicated but uh, it's very simple so here the area will calculate the area is nothing but uh, 2 into 10 which is 10 uh, half into 2 into 10 which is 10 here and where 10 will be acting it, uh, it will act uh, 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 along uh, two directions from the base it will be 1 by 3d from the apex it will be 2 by 3d so this is one uh, this uh, 2 by 3d from the apex and from the base it will be 1 by 3d so just divide this into three parts here and after that from 1 by 3d it will be acting uh, means what uh, answer you got here as 10 newton right 10 newton will be acting here 1 by 3d obviously this will be 2 by 3d okay so anyway uh, any uh, direction you can take but make sure if you are taking from the base it will be 1 by 3 if you are taking from apex it will be 2 by 3 okay that's how you convert uvl into point load having uh, done with these things you are ready for the numericals okay so let's see how to solve the numericals given here so <clears throat> basically what we have to find out is the unknown forces so unknown forces here are at uh, a and b mainly you have to start from a and b from the a and b the a is the hinge support so as you know if there is hinge support there will be how many forces two forces will be there one is the vertical and one is the horizontal if it's the roller support it's just in the upward direction as discussed in the uh, theoretical concept so it is just in the upward direction vb 
so we have to calculate three things now h a v and v b okay so here as you can see there is a uniformly distributed load so let's convert this into point load so what is the value of the uniform distributed load 2 kilo newton what is the uh, length of it 4 meter so what is 2 into 4 it is 8 and where will 8 be acting exactly at the middle which means 2 uh, from here and 2 from here here 8 uh, kilo newton will be acting so that's what uh, the conversion will be so 8 kilo newton will be acting exactly at the middle okay after you have done that and uh, there are no more forces just uh, represent this as uh, just uh, upward force and this one is for the left force and the upward force okay after we have done that this is known as free body diagram so here we have vb va and ha now as you know the three things fx is equal to zero fy is equal to zero force in the y direction should be zero and the moment about any axis either a or b is equal to zero at any point moment is zero so let's uh, first consider fx and fy if you don't get the answer we'll consider this as well so if fx is zero how many forces are acting in the x direction one force is this is acting in the x direction and any other force in this direction no they are not uh, no any forces so obviously ha will be equal to zero so uh, ha is equal to zero kilo newton and uh, the summation of forces in the y direction is the same so uh, in the upward direction it is va so plus va and plus vb minus 10 because it's acting in the downward direction minus 8 is equal to zero it will be zero only okay so we will get, we'll get this one va plus vb is equal to 18 kilo newton this answer means this is the uh, what uh, we have got as of now now what we'll be doing we'll be um, using the moments as well so let me explain the concept of moments if you're considering the moment about a direction from here how many forces are acting one is this force which is acting means in the upward and downward direction we are considering okay All moments always will be considered in the perpendicular um, direction what i mean is if you're considering moment about this um, point here at this line how many forces are acting in this way and this way not this one and this one this will be obviously zero right so if you're starting from here one force is acting va but the distance is zero so uh, no consideration because moment is nothing but force into distance so here the how much is force it is 10 and distance is 2 so 10 into 2 and uh, the next one is this one 8 so it is 10 8 into 6 so it is plus 8 into 6 and uh, this is the vb it's in the opposite direction so as i told you earlier this is the positive and this is the negative okay so vb is acting in this direction which is anti-clockwise so it is negative negative vb into 8 minus 8 vb is equal to 0 if you do that you can easily calculate the value of vb which i have just written here the value of vb which i get as uh, 8.5 kilo newton substitute the value of vb in the first equation which is this equation you'll get the value of va as well so we have got the three values va is we have got here and vb we have got here and ha already we have got here okay so that's how you'll solve each of these questions under this topic of beams okay so let's go through other questions very briefly so here uh, what is the this uh, called as a uniformly varying load uniformly distributed load both you have to convert into point load i've told you how to convert using the same way you have to convert it make the free body diagram do uh, from the either from the base or the apex find out the area of it that area will be acting at which direction uh, one by three from the base and two by three from the apex so anyways you'll get the answer here so it, it, this is the free body diagram after you got the free body diagram consider the summation of forces in the uh, vertical direction as well as in the horizontal direction as zero find out uh, try to find out if you get the answers of va and vb if you don't get the answer uh, consider the moment also at any point like moment at a at moment at b that is equal to zero find out the uh, values of the moment at each uh, point um, from a to each point okay so by these three obviously you'll get the answer uh, means if you do it correctly in the correct manner you'll get the answers uh, considering the correct directions okay so that's all that you have to find out in this question as well nothing new just uvl was there which i discussed how to uh, solve it okay so all the beams question will be like this only so you just need to know the proper formula and how to convert the udl and uvl into point load and calculate the answers okay so that was the first part the second part is the truss in truss you will have two uh, methods the first is method of joints and the other is method of sections so this more important method of joints let's see how it's uh, working okay so uh, the question is given as follows uh, analyze the question first that's your first step what's your first step to analyze the question okay so in the question you have hinge support here which will be acting uh, means the vertical force and the horizontal force here is the roller support only the upward force here is 200 newton which is acting and rest all are the unknown forces okay all members are one meter long so this is one meter one meter one meter so obviously if all are one meter uh, this will be 60 60 60 degree and the angles also we got here 
so that's all uh, means we have the distances as well as the angles we'll start the uh, means the solving the question using method of joints so here the main uh, function of us is like at each point what is the forces acting here it is ac ab and here it is ba bc bd db between each of the each of these two things they are forces acting right that we have to find out along with that what is the forces acting in the upward direction for this one as well as for this direction and this direction for this one so that's uh, uh means the, those are the all the things which you have to find out if you draw the free body diagram 200 newton is here here ax ay here it is ey just in the upward direction because uh, because it's a roll support and till here it is uh, means this distance is 1.5 meter and this you can easily find out by considering the values of uh, each uh, member as one meter so it, this is one one meter one meter this is also one meter and this divide uh, exactly into two so this total is one meter here and this is one five uh, point five meter so obviously this one plus this one will be 1.5 like that uh, like that you can easily find out okay so we'll start from a at a all the forces in the x direction in the y direction as well as the moments will be zero so if uh, in the uh, at point a if x direction will be zero at that time what does that mean any other force acting in this direction no so ax will be zero same thing goes for y also but in y two forces are acting here ey is going up ay is going up and 200 newton is coming down so we'll be keeping it as such ay plus ey minus 200 newton is equal to zero then uh considering the moment of a a moment about a so considering this moment about a what is this direction 1.5 and the uh, force acting is 200 newton 1.5 into 200 and uh, minus 2 into ey that is equal to zero right so when you do that we'll get the value of ey which will substitute in the previous equation to get the value of ay to get as 50 and ey as 150 so we found the values of ay ey and ax okay after we have found out that we have to find out at each point what is the uh, forces acting if you observe carefully uh, this just uh, nothing i've just written what are the forces acting if you're considering from a ab is going this way and ac is going this way from B, what are the connections? This connected, this is connected, this connected. So uh, those are just the forces which I have written. Okay. So after this one, you have to consider each of these. Means first you will consider this one, then this one, then this one, this one, this one, and find out each of these terms which I have written here. Okay. So let's see the first one. How to find out for this one? Okay. For joint A, as you can see, this is the diagram which is given to us, and this angle is 60 degree. Right, because all are equilateral triangles so obviously this angle will be 60 degree now if you consider the forces in the y direction and in the x direction then you will get some equations here means how you will do for the uh, y direction let me tell you for the y direction 50 newton is acting in this direction this is 60 degree and this is ab ab is acting in 60 degree in this direction so what will be its y component ab sin uh, sin 60 and uh, ac will not have any uh, sign component because it's zero degree here and uh, ab will be in the up direction so what will be the total equation ab sine 60 plus 50 is equal to zero so ab's value will get here same thing we'll get the value of ac also remember one thing if you get the value of ab as negative here just change our direction here okay. and this change direction will be reflected in the next uh, problem okay means the next joint which you consider what i mean is and change this direction here we'll get this direction here so for b what we'll be considering is this one Okay, B also will be changing the direction. In the figure, it is given like this, but we will consider it like this because we got as negative in the previous one. Same way, we will get the value of uh, AB also. And uh, for AC, there is nothing, no forces are there acting. So, obviously, the answer of AC will be 28.5, which is nothing but AB cos 60. Because AB is acting in this direction, 60 degree will come in uh, this direction. So, the means uh, you can easily find out right ac plus uh, this uh, value will be equal to zero so ac will be equal to 28.85 newton okay like that same thing you do for b also considering the angles and the uh, uh, means the forces acting the directions we have written i've written here the values of bc and bd so these uh, which i have uh, made in the squares right so those are the answers which you need to consider like value of ab ac which uh, these things we need to find out so these are the answers which we uh, finally need and same thing goes for joint D, joint D, uh, C and uh, joint E as well. So E is nothing but we will get these answers from the previous uh, joints. We'll just confirm it. Okay. So when you confirm, you'll get the answer as zero, which means the forces which you got are same. So that's all which I have to do in the trusses uh, by the method of joints. And uh, moving on, we have the next one, which is uh, method of uh, means trusses by the method of sections. So in sections, our truss, uh, let's consider an example and understand. So our truss is uh, loaded and supported as shown in the figure. Determine the axial forces in the members CE, CG and FG. So what they have given, observe carefully. CE, CG and FG. Where is CE? CE is this one. C and um, 
E. Okay, this is E. Okay, C E and uh, C G and F G. Uh, okay, F G. Yeah, these three we have to calculate what is the answer. So this uh, this is the figure which is given to us. This is the addition thing which I have done is I just separated it. So whichever things they have given to us, just separate it. Okay, means we have to find out for this one, this one, and this one. Just divide it into two parts. After dividing two parts, make these arrows like this. Okay, like this, like this, like this, and like this. After we have done that, then uh, what we'll be doing is a moment about A. Moment about any direction you can consider. What are the different forces that the uh, same as the previous one? The roller support, so RB only. Hinge support, so here X A and Y A in the X and Y direction. And uh, RB value also you can easily find out by considering the moment of A. And um, in ADF, cos 30 is equal to AD by uh, means AD by one is equal to root three by two. So uh, where is ADF? ADF. This is A and this is d and this is f so basically what value uh, trying to find out is ad value because we need for moment this is the perpendicular uh, means uh, the distance we need so ad value we need ad value we can easily find out using the cos value right cos 30 so ad value will get here root 3 by 2 ac value is root 3 we'll use uh, these both values in the uh, f of cg f of cg is this one okay so to find out f of cg what we are actually doing Moment about B is equal to 0, so F, uh, FCG is equal to 0. To find FCG, first consider FCG as 0. Okay, so MB is equal to 0, moment about B it is uh, equal to 0. So, um, so when you have got three uh, things which you need to find out, consider the middle part as 0 and we have to uh, just find out this one and this one. If any change we get here, then we will be substituting back in these uh, equations. Okay, so first this will be considered as 0 and then to find out FC and F, uh, FFG, at that time consider F of X uh, summation as 0, FY summation as 0. FX summation is the uh, forces acting in the X direction and the FY is forces acting in the Y direction. So here are the forces which act acting in the X direction that is as considered as 0 and here the consider uh, y uh, force i consider as zero here okay so uh, fc value what we get is uh, this one by rearranging the terms here so this is the answer which you get and uh, same thing for the fg also fg also when we rearrange the terms you will get this answer so that's all we uh, which uh, what uh, we had to find out there is no F uh, fcg term here so fcg will remain as zero so F fg uh, answer is 2010 here which is the first answer and the second answer is here fce and fcg uh, answer is zero here okay so this is what, uh, what basically uh, we'll be doing in the uh, tests by the method of sections and uh, yeah that's all uh, which is the, uh, what is there important in the module uh, 4 of uh, 21 ci 14 and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one